Happy Sunday, everyone. Welcome to Our Issues Birmingham. Today's guest is Crystal Smitherman. Crystal, welcome to our show. Thank you. Uh, Crystal is the one of the two newest city council members of the Birmingham City Council, just recently uh, selected from a group of folks by the other city council members. And coincidentally, she's the youngest city council member we have, which gives me hope. We need youth and vibrance and mm -hmm. energy. Um, uh, how how is it so far? You've only been there what two or three sessions? Yeah, the the second meeting was this past Tuesday, and yeah. it was amazing. I actually passed my first resolution, so I was really happy about that. And it was about turning is Legion Field turns green, and it came about because I was at the Birmingham Bowl, which was a great game, and I had a water bottle, and so. I asked the staff, I asked President Pro Tim Parker, where can I put the bottle? And he was just kind of like, huh? And then I asked the staff member and she was just kind of like, what are you talking about? The trash. And, so, yeah. and she was like, I'll just put it in the trash. And you know, growing up, I've always had my mom, my sister and I will always have my mom collect the bottles and recycle them. When I went to college, I would have all of these bags and I would go to school and dump them out. So this is something I've done my whole life. And then we came up with a plan to take the recyclable items and turn them into revenue. Because we spend so much money on landfills and expanding them that we could use that money for something else. Absolutely. Like paving roads, uh, lighting in the streets. Uh, making our recreation centers better, just different things that can actually benefit the community other than putting more waste on top of waste on top right. of waste. We gotta get rid of straws too. Yeah. That's <laughs> straws. the newest, that's the newest uh, Satan. Yeah, For me it's that. bread and sugar uh, <laughs> and now straws. Those, I actually saw a my... TV episode about that so it was funny. Oh really? Mm -hmm. uh, well tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got to where you are. Uh, you're very young to have achieved as much as you have and I know mm -hmm. you've had good DNA because mm -hmm. I know both your mother and your father, uh, uh, Judge Carol Smitherman and mm -hmm. State Senator Roger Smitherman. Mm -hmm. um, tell us about yourself a little bit. So I'm the youngest of four. I'm 25 years old. I, all my life from kindergarten to the 12th grade, I was in the Birmingham Public School System. I went to Epic, W.J. Christian, and Ramsey. I graduated with honors at Ramsey. And I went on to Hampton University on a golf scholarship, an academic scholarship. Golf? Yes. Oh, something dear to my heart, but, mm -hmm. but we can't play. <laughs> it's cold and rain. I'm a fair weather golfer, so Aww. I like 60 degrees and I, I'm too old now. I gotta be off the path. Well, I hate to tell you, I play golf where there's still snow on the ground. We were actually in college and we were taking snowballs and throwing them at each other during practice. <laughs> wow, and and you had a handicap of? I probably had it probably like 10, 11. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. I was anyway, actually, yeah, I don't have players that. Um, we digress. We'll play mm -hmm. golf one day. Yeah. When you get well. I know mm -hmm. you've had some uh, surgery here recently, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, you, you're probably out of golf commission right now. Yeah, I am. But you'll be back. Yeah, I'll be back. Uh, so I interrupted you. Continue. After, after your Hampton experience. And I graduated um, Hampton with a biology major and a leadership minor. and. In the middle of my senior year, I decided to go to law school. So I took a gap year, and during my gap year, I worked for Girls Inc. and I ran around. I went around to the different schools and talked about sexual abuse and how to prevent that from happening to the kids. And so when I was in the schools, because a lot of them were Jefferson County and Birmingham, I kind of saw whether the schools needed help, the progression of the schools, or the improvement of them. And there was one particular school that. Um, the students, they were young students and they didn't know how to read. And I was kind of baffled by it because, you know, at this point in their careers, even though they were only in elementary school, they should have known, you know, how to read. And that's no fault in the teachers. It's just we have to really make sure our kids are at the top notch. Of course. So is that what Girls Inc? Well, the... that's that's a part of it. Okay. Um, I was like an um, outreach education contractor, but they mostly do um, girls. I, was, I actually went to their summer camp. so. It's about empowering young girls, so. Good. Mm -hmm. So after that, 
you went to law school? Yes, I started out at Cumberland Law School yeah. and on a scholarship, and that was great. I love Cumberland, and I did trial advocacy stuff my one other year. And then, you know, it's crazy how things come out. I got on the wait list at Alabama. I was at the very top, and no one gave up their seat, and they told me not to give up. And so I got a package in the mail to apply for it. I applied for it on the last day, and I got in, and I started at Alabama, my so, dream school. So are you at 2L now? I'm at 3L now. 3L. So I graduated in May. Then the big one, the yeah, bar. The bar. Yeah, it, you'll be okay. I hope so. <laughs> Don't listen to everybody. Just stay focused on one thing. Mm -hmm. and try to stay away from your classmates because okay. they will confuse you. <laughs> yeah, uh, I've learned that already. <laughs> what, what brought you to want to be engaged in, uh, I'd say, the legislative branch of government? So my, I saw that my community needed me. I've been in leadership roles all my life, high school, college, uh, law school. And, you know, when I would come back home, I would see that all the problems that were going on during my mom's term and uh, Commissioner Tyson's term were still going on. I knew, and I had a friend, um, I did, actually did a panel in New York for the Nabalsa National Convention because I was the um, Director of Social Action for the Southern Region. And we had all of these young politicians, our politicians to be on our panel. The youngest one was 18 years old, a wow. freshman in college. It was actually in the same county where the school shooting happened mm -hmm. in Florida, and he ran for school board. Unfortunately, he lost, but he made it to the primaries. I was very proud of him. And then there was another young man who I'm good friends with him, and he's a state representative in Michigan, and he's only 23 years old. And he got appointed to city council at 19. Well, I'm glad you made the decision you mm -hmm. made. We're going to talk some more specifically about what's going on in the city of Birmingham when mm -hmm. we come back from break. Is that okay? Yes, sir. This is Our Issues Birmingham. Don't go away with Crystal Smitherman. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Our Issues Birmingham. Uh, I'm Tommy Spina. We're talking with Crystal Smitherman, representative of Dis District 6 of Birmingham City Council. And um, District 6 is Legion Field, I suspect. Um, sort of, kind of, it kind of ends right before Legion Field, but it's mostly um, a part of UAB. Um, the baseball field, I have half of it. I think that's funny. Isn't that um, <laughs> um, Tisville, West End, Mason City. Um, it's a great community. West End's where I grew up. Oh, I lived, wow. Yeah, I grew up on Princeton Avenue, oh. behind the high school. Okay. So what are the needs you see particularly for Dis District 6, but uh, also for the city as a whole, uh, currently. Okay, so um, for my district, I came up with the three E's of empowerment, uh, environment, education, and economy. Environment, so the Trinity Project uh, is working on 50 multi-family housing in North Tisville, and that's to improve the standard of living for families over there. And we're going to start working on them expanding more out in the district. And, you know, when people have a nice home and when they own a home, they take more pride in their community. And, and as far as the environment, my goal is to have cleanups and, you know, cleanup parties in every neighborhood, every community, just to bring everyone out from the youngest person to the oldest person and just teaching everybody how to take care of their community. Um, the second one is education, uh, because like I mentioned earlier, I was a biology major. I wanted to help the schools become more STEM certified because, you know, all over the world, you know, everybody else is right here in maths and sciences and, you know, America, we're... This is why I went to law school. <laughs> I, I, I was right here in math and sciences. Yeah, uh, funny, yeah. I don't know about your mom and dad, but I'll let them address that at some other point. Mm -hmm. uh, but go ahead. So, you know, just encouraging them to do better and then going to schools and talking to the kids and seeing what the schools need. And, you know, that doesn't have to be limited just to District 6, but District 6, they're like my babies. So I have to yeah. tend to them first. And then the last one is economy and having 
home owner and renovation workshops at the rec centers and libraries. I know some workshops already go on in Birmingham, but I really want to bring those workshops to District 6. And, and is the idea to get young people involved in, in all of those things yes. mm -hmm. while they're still mm -hmm. in, uh, let's say, high school? Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Or maybe even before high school. I don't know. Yes. Mm -hmm. Certainly middle school and mm -hmm. up. Well, I noticed that uh, Mayor Woodfin recently uh, has announced uh, an apprenticeship program mm -hmm. that he'd like to put in place. Mm -hmm. uh, as a matter of fact, I, I've spoken with him. Uh, there are some already in place. Uh, mm -hmm. I think Sarah Toyota well, has something going on along those lines. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about businesses. The oh, yeah. Birmingham mm -hmm. Home Builders Association would be delighted to yeah. engage in something mm -hmm. like that. Uh, are those the kinds of things we're talking about? Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, th the times are so different now. Back back in the day when I was there, uh, music was an issue for young people. So uh, we, we'd, we'd teach somebody to play the trumpet or, or something. But nowadays, you know, we have all the violence and, and we're trying to, we really got to get back yeah. to people younger than you are mm -hmm. uh, to um, put those plans and make those plans implemented and then get them going. Yeah. Uh, what barriers do you see possibly in trying to make that happen? Um, Your other council members? No, they are actually very supportive. Um, are I've, we unified more now than ever? Yes, I definitely believe that because when I did my first resolution, they were so supportive. Uh, Councilor O'Quinn was very supportive. President Abbott was on board and uh, President Pro Tem Parker was helping me kind of formulate my first idea and that's really nice to know that you have the support and you can have, you know, the work capacity with your other coworkers. I know historically, um, well, we got the Mayor Council Act that's yeah. being tossed around as mm -hmm. possibly being changed or adjusted in some ways. Uh, I don't know specifically how or what respect, but, but there was a period in time where there was a president of the council and a mayor, and the mayor and the president sort of came together, mm -hmm. and, and the president of the council representing the council, mm -hmm. and the mayor being the mayor, and they would be unified. Now it, it, it seems more divisive, and or at least historically it has been more divisive where everybody's kind of looking after their own district without re regard to everyone else's district. Do, do you see a, a unification, maybe going back to the old, I hate to call it the old way, but more of a unified effort on behalf of our legislative branch to do what's best for the city of Birmingham? Yes, I definitely see that because Councilor Woods is great. He's young, he's vibrant, he's from the same legacy as myself and we, and I know I want to come in and just kind of take the principles, ideas from when my mom was on council and just kind of learn under her and then take her wisdom. And, you know, eventually she has to let the bird go and just use it's that. It's hard to, to do. Yeah. And just use that to, you know, because Birmingham, we're all one big city. It doesn't matter what district you're in because what happens in one district affects all of the other eight districts. So I yeah, really agree. Yeah, and that's the... Uh, aberration about metropolitan Birmingham, uh, the lack of unification, the, the, and I'm not talking about the city of Birmingham, I'm talking about Jefferson County in mm -hmm. this instance, because we've got people competing with each other, you know, I mean the Irondales and the Hoovers and the Vestavias, and, and it seemed like we could accomplish more if we had some uh, cohesiveness and unification. Hey, one thing I'm, I'm noticing that I was a big fan of uh, when the elections were going on, we're seeing more flights coming into the Birmingham airport, mm -hmm. more airlines. I'm uh, excited just, about that. Mm -hmm. oh, just get us back to New Orleans, I'll be happy. <laughs> Without having to drive five hours, I think that would be a big, a big plus. Yeah. We're going to take a break. Don't leave me. I got seven more minutes. With I won't you. leave you. <laughs> okay, this is our issues, Birmingham. Don't go away. We will be right back. Welcome back to our issues, Birmingham. Uh, we've been talking with Crystal Smitherman about her ideas about uh, the future of Birmingham, and she represents the future of Birmingham, as does her uh, demographic uh, and her age group. 
and it's, it's delightful to see young folks, I get chill bumps just saying <laughs> it, that, that want to be engaged and involved. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the horrible things Birmingham gets a bad rap about is crime. Mm -hmm. uh, and I know Mayor Woodfin is, is deeply touched by mm -hmm. the crime that goes on and the deaths that we see, and he's even been personally affected by it. Uh, what what feelings do you have or solutions do you have or, or ideas do you have about trying to curtail some of that? I think a lot of the crime has to do with people are losing hope. So we have to bring hope back to our communities. Like I was saying, taking, because you know, a lot of the crime that happens, happens in abandoned housing. And so if we take away the abandoned houses, then that kind of eliminates one way of crime to get that out of the way. And for the younger generation that's doing the crime, you know, just making sure, like you mentioned before, having music programs after school, just things for them to do, knowing that yeah, they can the go back. Mm -hmm, recreation centers, yeah. so they can play basketball and different programs We there. used to paint. They, really? When I was uh, in West End, we'd go to Harrison Park, uh, and they would have uh, porcelain, just plain white porcelain, and we would they would give us paintbrushes, and and we would they would be things like a heart or a, mm -hmm. a bowl of fruit, but it would be plain. Mm -hmm. And what we were instructed to do was to paint the porcelain. That's a good idea. idea for you. That's a good idea. I like that. <clears throat> Born right here. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what we did back then. So, you know, the, the, we, we've got to get the guns out of people's hands and, and replace it with hammers and mm -hmm. paintbrushes and, and trumpets and saxophones and mm -hmm. things of that nature. You mentioned something about the housing. Um, so I saw on the news just recently that a house was torn down that someone claimed they didn't even know was being torn down. I mean, if you drive the city, there is a mm -hmm. fair number of really big eyesores. Mm -hmm. So I think the mayor wants to get those houses down and maybe come back with some affordable housing for mm -hmm. someone else. Yeah. Uh, is that your feeling about the housing issue as well? Yes, I definitely support the mayor's initiative. And, you know, when we improve the housing, we bring new families. We can bring back other families that have moved out of Birmingham. We can bring young and vibrant energy, or we can bring some of the older generations to come back and be like, here is your community again. You are safe in your community. You can come back here. You have your support and your love and hope. I think that's what every city needs. Hope. That's a big word mm -hmm. uh, for four letters, because I think that's what people have lost, is hope. Mm -hmm. uh, aside from that, what do you see as the biggest challenges uh, that the city of Birmingham is having to deal with? I mean, we've got a new stadium coming. Mm -hmm. Uh, we've got 2059 about to be torn down. Uh, well, by the time this show runs, it is torn down. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, you, you believe it to be in, uh, from what I'm hearing, it is with the youth in trying to mm -hmm. get them back on track mm -hmm. with education and empowering them with something else. Yes, because I don't want what has happened with my age group, if you limit it a little bit more, um, some of us are coming back, but some of us just decided not to come back. And if that's the reason, I'd rather, rather it be, oh, I have this amazing job somewhere else and I can benefit there other than, oh, I'm never coming back to Birmingham and they have this amazing job opportunity here or they can, like myself, um, take a great opportunity here in my hometown that I may not have been able to have somewhere like Washington, D.C. or New York City or L.A. So... Um as a Birmingham City Council person, and I know it's fresh and new and you're energized, how long are you there for before you have to run? About a year and a half. So you have a year and a half to run. Um, do you see this uh, as a stepping stone to some other public office for yourself? You know, I'm just going with the flow of life. In, in Staying law in school, the month. Yep, Staying law in the school, um, this, anything. You know, I think life is better when you just go with the flow. You, you adapt my philosophy. Yeah. You, you don't you don't find your destiny. Destiny finds you. Mm -hmm. I definitely agree. Yeah, I think that's true as well. Thank you for being with us today. I appreciate your energy, your youthful enthusiasm, uh, and I wish more people uh, your age would adapt and take on the qualities that you have 
uh, exhibited for us here today and that you'll be the role model for others that want to follow in your footsteps mm -hmm. like you have chosen to follow in your parents' footsteps to try to better our community. And uh, you, you, you deserve a, a big old pat on the back. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you for the opportunity to be here. This is Our Issues Birmingham. We'll see you next week. <laughs>